Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In my past couple of videos, um, you haven't really been able to hear my mic that well, so hopefully you can hear my mic better in this video. That's because my, on PS4, I, I know how to change the mic settings for broadcasting. So, I found like a quiet spot. That's why I'm already in the world, ready to start the game. Um, so, this is Shekels Park, oops, I did not mean to do that, mm -hmm. um, this is Shekels Park Warmath, and I played this a little bit yesterday, and I'd say the easiest levels are probably level 1, which is the one I'm doing right now, obviously, level 3. Three is pretty easy. Level nine is like so easy. Like I could probably do it like ten times in a row without failing. So yeah, this core core course was really well. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. This core core course was like really well done, and it might take me a little while because some of them especially the one over there you can't really see it right now but it's the last one uh, you have to jump on upside down stop signs and it is like super difficult so probably what I'll be doing is I'll probably be doing uh my first attempt, and then me, like, actually, like, completing it, and then, like, that'll be, like, it for a level, and, yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do the video, just so that, to keep it, like, shorter, okay, that's, that's great, okay, uh, not a good start, right? That jump is not even I don't really know why I couldn't do that. So yeah, I'll probably just like cut back to there. Okay. Yeah, th literally the first jump's just the hardest one. And level two. Okay, so once you get to level two, uh, if you just walk out, it bounces you like outwards. And it's hard to get back to the area. Like so, usually if you just stay crouched, then you like dodge the problem. But this level, oops, but yesterday it took me a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, it took me like 30 minutes just because I couldn't figure it out. But, okay, right. Please get up here. But, you have to go off the middle. Or else you won't make it. Yeah. You have to go straight off the middle, because... Um, if you... Okay, that's great. If you go off the middle, then... It'll, like, be the first distance, but... I've gone short and long multiple times on there and for this jump you have to stay on the left while so you your head on that one uh which my friend did a couple times and uh, yep I oh okay so once you get up here this is like the difficult part of the level because you have to go up here and jump onto that bouncer without hitting off that bouncer or else you'll jump over there into a spike trap so you have to go up here and jump like as far as you can onto that bouncer and bounce back off that bouncer and onto that launch pad which is pretty difficult it might take me a couple tries and yeah you have to jump so late that usually I just like don't even jump so yeah, I'll just cut to where I do it. Oh, oh my god. 
Okay, that took way too long, but I finally made it all the way from there up to here. And last part, you just have to go through that little window. It's not too difficult. Yeah, and now we're on level three. Level three is pretty easy, like I said. Um, it should take me like over 10 tries. Um, basically, you don't jump there. And you have to go to the right of the track. Okay, and for this, you can't jump. But there's bouncers on the other side of this, and sometimes you miss the bouncers. It's kind of annoying. You know what? Oh. Alright, now just a couple bait traps. And this final trap. I can't believe I'm doing this on the first try. You just gotta crouch on this side and walk down, and... I... That took me like 20 tries the other day. I'm surprised I got it the first try. But now I'm level 4. Pretty... This level's actually pretty easy as well. It's just a little grappler, of course. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm probably gonna get it on the second try. I feel it. It's only like 50 tries yesterday. Alright, yep. Second try. Pretty easy level. Now this one... Okay, I, this level is fine, besides the last jump, you have to jump from that peg, land on that bouncer, and get all the way across, and it took me a good, like, a hundred tries yesterday, and it's just, like, the last jump that really gets me, like, where I will really mess up on, but this level is not too difficult. If I remember for like this part, yes, ma gotta make sure you're staying on like the orange parts. Alright, and then this one, si that little lump right there kind of messes you up and kind of slips you off sometimes. So it's best to just jump off this orange one to this orange one and then do that a couple more times and then to this one. And uh, this jump looks really awkward and difficult, but it's just like. It's really not that hard. You just gotta jump onto it like that. And you can like even walk on this part on the edge here. But this jump is the hardest. You have to jump from here and get onto that little bounce pad down there. If I get this first try, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> oh no. strategy instead of just jumping straight off this one if you jump hang on let me try just walking off okay that doesn't work but if you jump up and then touch the one below you from the back it like pushes you forward a little bit and it can get you to the bouncer because that's how I did it yesterday but my friends are doing did it the way that I'm trying to do it, but I just don't like this level in general. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Oh my god. It worked first try. Uh, I mean, I didn't even bounce it off like the way I wanted to, but... I still got it to work somehow. Okay, for level 6. Definitely not the hardest level. Actually, this level is kind of fun. So, usually people will just go up the middle here. Which works like 1 out of 5. But, my friend yesterday found a way, like a better way. 
and if you jump up against that top arrow and look this way, then you usually make it. Uh, okay, it didn't work that time. This one's kind of rough, at least, just a little bit. I think I might have jumped a little bit too far out, but, um, I'm gonna get done in the wrong way several times, probably. Okay, I got too close that time. Oh! That was close. Alright. Um. Okay, so that's like a trap dodging one, but I kinda messed up. So once you get there, put a trap dodge. Um, little thing here. Alright. Here we go. Now, you want to jump as far as you can onto that launch pad and angle yourself down to here onto the launch pad. Oh, I'm at jump pad this time. And you have to snake your way around the mountain onto this launch pad and bam, level 7. It's just right around the corner for you. I'm just going to hop on this checkpoint and level 7, not too difficult. Um, I can remember, but it's probably going to take me a couple tries. Um, so go up here, off the bouncer, and onto the tires. Now, you want to take this one at a time, because if you try to do it not once in a time, you'll die, probably. First try. Okay. This level is a pain. It took me an hour to complete. Um, so my first strategy was to under jump it, the poles, because usually that's how it is. But uh, this one is actually kind of nice because it helps you with like your short jumps. And I don't know. But over there, there's, after you get all the way up there, you jump down to, a, there's a platform over there. You have to do full block jumps, which are pretty difficult. But, oh no, they're not as difficult as they seem. But, yeah, there's a lot of that that happens. <coughs> I usually land on it and like, do a little bounce animation and fall off. That happens a lot, so... Yeah. Um, come on. Alright, this is like the path you take. Okay. Okay. So you gotta jump from here. Let's go jump from here, because then you can just land on the outer part. The more landing room. And then, for this, you have to jump on this one, then the top of that one, the top of that one, then the bottom of that green one, up onto the orange one, up onto the blue, I mean up onto the green one, then the blue one, then down to that platform that I said, talked about earlier. Okay, that's great. Okay, so I made it to the full block jumps. Uh, this first jump is usually pretty easy. These look really hard, but they're really not that difficult. It's kind of mental a little bit. But once we get to level 9, that level is such a breeze. Like, I could do it so easily. So basically, you want to stand on this one and aim for that corner right there. And then just jump along those two. So, I'll try to do this. Oh! 
Okay, I hate this jump so much. They're so they scare me a lot. But that jump, that course, literally, no joke, took me an hour yesterday to complete, and it took me five minutes. So yeah, pretty easy. Okay, level nine is so easy. I'll probably get it first try. Um, gotta jump up to these, and you have to get right. Level 9 is so easy, it's not even funny. Okay, level 10. Not gonna lie, spent like 30 minutes trying to figure it out. Because you, if you go over these blocks, you die. And I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to line up. So that I won't kill you. But as you can see, you can't jump over the jump over like in between like see that little crack you actually have to go around like I'll show you right now you have to go up and around just like that it's actually not too difficult I just gotta be like <sighs> I see Get close. Come on. Your legs. Okay, this is the last jump. Just gotta jump onto the platform. And that's level 10. Not too difficult. Level 11 took me a couple tries. Actually, no, not more than a couple, like 30 minutes, too. But basically, um, I figured out a better strategy to do it. Um, okay, uh, so basically, the first one was pretty easy. I don't really know why that happened, but let's just pretend it didn't happen. And so. This one, you have to throw it. Hmm. Alright, so you. What you have to. D what I originally thought you had to do was that you had to throw it down, walk in front of it, and jump to try to get all the way over there. But it only worked for me like one fifth of the time. So, basically, what I did for this level was I went like this. Um. Yes, it's really not that difficult. And I just boot trap. Like this. And throw a grappler straight down. And jump up. And just move forward while you're in the air. And you'll make it to here. And then, once you're here, um, what uh, you're supposed to do is go up here, go up there and go up there, but I usually go over it, or it just doesn't work, so basically an easier way is to just throw it down, and it's like, um, okay, so, basically, alright, let's go like this, it's not too difficult, I don't know, I couldn't do this the first time, as you can see, my dead impulse grenades there, but this one is, a little bit annoying. So you're gonna throw an impulse straight down and then get off that and land there. And you can't well, land on those because then you'll obviously die. So you like this. That's off here. Oh. <laughs> I made it to the last level, level 12, where all your dreams come not true. And by the way, you can't do this, unless you're wondering, you can't go like this. Because then you die. And the end of the level is right down there. 
but um, this level it actually didn't take me as long as the pipe level. Well, it's probably as difficult, but it's also kind of mental if you think about it, cause I'm pretty sure it has might have like the same box as like the poles that we did over there. It just looks a lot skinnier, but um. It shouldn't take me too long. It took me like 20 minutes yesterday to do. Uh, it shouldn't take me that long, so. Okay. How? my god that took way too long all right so on that final level the goal is just it's kind of all right so on the last jump right there on that stop sign it's always good to like back up a little bit to so you can land the jump onto that one which i failed on like 50 times but yeah, that's the end of the map. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.